Hello everyone, welcome back to Trading Card Game Collection. Today's What's in the Box is very special because this is a chance to try and finish my Detective Pikachu set. I'm missing 11 cards and I have a product here that might help me finish the set. It is the Detective Pikachu Cafe Figure Collection box with a couple of cool things. You get a nice figure. The Detective Pikachu is sitting on a stool, holding a piping hot cup of coffee. And then the promo card is pretty cool. It's a alternate art print of a rare in the set that is actually Detective Pikachu with these moves. They've reprinted, they printed a couple of Detective Pikachus, like the DVD, Comfos 1, this Comfos 1. I think there's like one stamped in another box. And then there's like the rare in the set. But this is an alternate art. Uh, print of a rare from the Tete Pikachu set, so it's pretty cool. And it has a nice hollow photo pattern, and it's a promo, so that's pretty cool. Uh, take a look at the flap here. We have three Tete Pikachu packs. It's an 18 card set, four cards per pack. It's pretty rare because it's only included in these kind of boxes. And then at the top here, we have what appears to be a Burning Shadows pack. Which means Rainbow Rare Zard Honey and a Sun and Moon pack, which is pretty cool as well. So, in addition to trying to complete our Detective Pikachu set, this is what I have so far. Actually, I have two Magic Harps. This is what I have so far. Just let everyone take a look there. I'm missing 11 cards, and this box is a great opportunity to try and complete my set. And we also get to hunt for some valuable cards from other sets. So I'm super excited to get into this. Here's what the back looks like. Coffee is fuel for this detective. Very cool. Alright, now I'm going to get into it. Uh, very careful. Slide everything out. Alright, very cool. Super excited again with this. Alright, here's the promo up close for everyone. This is actually a um, rare in the Detective Pikachu set, but this is an alternate art promo, and it looks really cool. Um, this is one of my, not only is it a card I don't have, but this would be kind of a cool card to pull in the set, because it's Detective Pikachu, and you can't go wrong there. So that's really cool. I'm going to put this in a sleeve. So that's the promo. It's very cool. Set that back there with the wash. And then the figure. Love the figure. He's sitting on a stool, pouring a cup of coffee. We also have the figure of the three showers from the Galar figure box, but this is really cool. Let's put that back there as well. We have some Detective Pikachu good luck charms for our Detective Pikachu packs. And our other packs as well. So, let's take the packs out. We have three packs of Detective Pikachu. Oh, four packs! Four packs of Detective Pikachu, so complaining that set should not be difficult. When I look at it on the outside, it's not only came with three, but it comes with four. That's really cool. And then our other packs, a Burning Shadows pack. Burning Shadows is a fun set. It has the Hyper Rare Charizard. And then Sun and Moon is a very fun set. So, now that I've highlighted all of the cool things that are in this box, the promo, the figure, and the packs, we're going to get into the packs. I'm going to start with the four Detective Pikachu packs. If I get a new card that I don't have, I'm going to put it back here and see how close we can get to finishing our set with these four packs. So... We 
we have Bulbasaur. Ooh, Jigglypuff. Um, uh, that's one I do not have, so that's really cool. Charmander. That's also one I don't have. That's also really cool. And our rare is Mewtwo. I think that's pretty cool. I already had it, but that's a pretty cool rare to pull from the Tether Pikachu set. Okay, everyone. We have put the Charmander and the Jigglypuff in the binder. We got an extra Bulbasaur, but that's really cool because I have a Bulbasaur collection in my binder. So we're going to add the Bulbasaur card to that section. And I think Mewtwo is a pretty cool rare to pull. So, next pack of Tetsu Pikachu. Magikarp. Morwall. And Snubble, so, um, no new commons, but that's still really cool. And our rare is a Ludicolo. That's pretty cool. That's one I did not have, so that's going to go in the binder. We're doing great so far, actually. We've got two new commons and a brand new rare. So, this set shouldn't be too difficult to complete. Now, let's see what we get in our third pack of Detective Pikachu. We have a Magikarp. Charmander. We have a Charmander collection, that's really cool. Morwall, and our rare is a Detective Pikachu. This is very on so many levels. We've all set the Pikachu stuff in the background. The set's based on the Detective Pikachu movie. This is like the best rare you can pull just on a semantic standpoint. So this is really cool. To have pulled a Detective Pikachu from this box. And the 20 did not have, so that's really cool. So, that's, I'm just going to take a look at that. Great artwork on all of these. These all have great artwork. They do a really nice job with the artwork design. Okay, we have put the Detective Pikachu in the binder. That's a pretty cool rare to pull, I think. That's super cool. That's amazing. Now we got a Detective Pikachu. I think that's one of the coolest rares you can get. So, can we get some last Detective Pikachu pack? Magic. What do we get? Psyduck. That's a new one, actually. So that's great. Psyduck. Charmander. Bulbasaur. And a Arcanine. That's pretty cool. That's why I did not have. So we have a couple rares that are new and a couple we we really put finished. We really helped complete our set. We got a bunch of new cards. So that's a really good way to and the Tata Pikachu packs with a Arcanine. That's pretty cool. So we're pretty close to finishing our set. We are just missing five cards at this point. That's really good. We do have some other boxes that we can open up in an attempt to complete our set. Because I think completing a set of the Tetsu Pikachu will be really cool. Okay, I'm going to get into Sun and Moon. What's in Center War Packer? And I'm going to say Burning Shadows for the end because it means a chance at that Rainbow Rare Charizard. And Sun and Moon needs a chance at a card I imagine myself not having. Four cards for guessing energy. I'll say lightning, fairy energy, trumbeak, potion, Torah cat, 
Bouncely. Skarmory. Cutie Fly. Drowsy. Rowlet. Reverse Torkoal. That is a common. And a Beware. Non hollow. That's pretty cool though. Okay. Now for the last pack of this opening. It is a Burning Shadows pack with hollow artwork. Can we get some last pack magic? Shadows is a great set to include in this box because it means a chance at that rainbow rare Charizard. For guess the energy, I'll say fairy, grass, weakness policy, heat more, curlia, dynamo, tangela. Ralts, Rhyhorn, Hoot Hoot, Reverse Rare, Diancy, that's pretty good from a Burning Chow's pack. A Reverse Rare and a Toxic Roak, non hollow with a Guard of War in the background, just notice that. But the Diancy Reverse Rare is pretty cool. So this was a pretty good box. I got some nice cards out of the Burning Shadows and Sun and Moon pack. And then I was able to get way closer to finishing my Detective Pikachu set. And I am not lost of hope. I still think finishing the set is very possible because we have a Mewtwo GX case file. This has um, a Mewtwo GX and a Jumbo Mewtwo GX. And on the back here, it says... It's got four Detective Pikachu packs and two additional packs, which means another chance at some nice pulls. And then, in addition to the Mewtwo GX case file, we have the Charizard GX case file. With a Charizard GX and a Jumbo Charizard GX. And at the back here, Four Detective Pikachu packs and two additional packs. So, I think completing our set is very possible since we have those case files. This was a really fun opening to film. I'm glad I was able to open up some, some Detective Pikachu packs since they're kind of rare. And I hope you enjoyed this opening, everyone. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.